and so this is Primo Mobile, you know, there's a fixed sign, you know, it's an old system where the earth is in the middle, right? And so as they go up and up and up, and they go to the, you know, the Trinity, and then they go, they have various saints, and then there's a paradise where people are all stuck naked and sit in the garden all day long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. And then there's a paradise where they go to sleep on the rose petals, and then oh, big white rose. Sweet. And all wrapped up like babies. So did you like write poetry to these images? Yes, so that's why I'm showing it because the images show up in my poetry. So I think in order to appreciate the poem, I'm gonna read you. Cool. Oh, about this the rose poem. Rose. I just love this. This is a rose. Oh, and the rose, oh, and yes. all the guys are just nice asleep. Oh, I'm so like cool and and rested and like asleep in a rose and ice cream. What silly comedies about aliens and time travel? Friends being excellent to each other. <laughs> we leave through the other comedy, the divine one, in Paradiso, as seen by Giovanni di Paolo, medieval illuminations for the end of time. Submerged in the earth's shadow, the moon sphere is the haven for the likes of us, inconstant, waxing and waning, not keeping the vows. Dante and Beatrix, the poet and his beloved, rise up to Mercury and Venus, then to the garden of earthly delights, where we stay and they ascend from the fourth sphere of the sun to the eighth sphere of the fixed stars to meet the wise, the virtuous, saints, the multitude of angels in primum mobile and the blessed, don't forget the blessed, of the tenth sphere, the empyrean. The heart of paradise, where gold rays of light always permeate everything, where saints sleep in rose petal pods like babies by the mothers, or splash in and out of the waters of grace, the river of serenity that flows under the buzzing of heavenly peas, making timeless honey, sweet, translucent, gold honey, only honey, forever and beyond time, honey. Mm. Mm.